you are watching an OraCloud Plus Training as a Service video snippet. Snippets are concise, targeted tutorials explaining how to use, configure, integrate, deploy, and support Oracle's Fusion Cloud applications. Snippets are delivered via FAST, the Fusion Application Support Tool. FAST is accessible via the web at www.oracloud.plus. No more watching hours of learning past style videos to get to the five minute snippet you need. Learn Oracle's Fusion Cloud applications in minutes, not hours. Hello and welcome to the Procurement Cloud Review video presentation. This video is intended for beginners looking to learn more about the capabilities of Oracle's Procurement Cloud offering, otherwise known as a suite of applications. It walks through each of the applications, also known as functional work areas, within Procurement Cloud and several of the more popular services that it can be integrated with. This video snippet, as with all Oracle Cloud Plus video snippets, can be found within FAST, our Fusion Application Support Tool. In the Procurement Cloud Training Group, in the Introduction to Procurement Cloud Training Center under the Learn menu option. To request access to FAST, email us at access at oracloud.plus. Please include your name and contact information and set the email title to FAST Access Request. Okay, so key topics are as follows. What is Procurement Cloud? Procurement Cloud applications, also known as functional work areas what each application does. So there's about eight slides walking through each one. When each application is used, analytics, two slides for analytics, popular integrations, leveraging OBN, which is also known as the Oracle Business Network. And finally, the value of Procurement Cloud applications. Okay, so let's get started. First, what is Procurement Cloud? Well, Oracle's Procurement Cloud offering allows public and private organizations to automate their purchasing, meaning rec order receive, and sourcing, meaning register, qualify, source, contract, processes, streamlining routine tasks while enforcing compliance at every step. You can see in the graphic on the bottom an attempt to delineate which of the different processes are purchasing and which are sourcing. Next up, procurement cloud applications. So what you see here is pretty much a wide open view of the eight different applications under Procurement Cloud, and it lists them here. Just to keep in mind in the upper left of the image on the left, you'll see apps, and that's because they're referred to some places as apps or applications. However, in some documentation, as well as in some of the training, they're referred to as functional work areas. So something like suppliers may not be an application per se. Okay, so within Procurement Cloud, there are purchase requisitions, purchase agreements, purchase orders, my receipts, negotiations, which includes the functionality of sourcing and deliverables. It also will allow you to initiate contracts, catalogs, which includes supplier registration, both internal and external. And lastly, supplier qualifications. So now several slides, we're on slide one, there's eight, it talks about what each application does. So first up, purchase requisitions. This allows requesters to create manage, approve, view, and change their requisitions. And you see the requisition homepage here on the right. Next, purchase agreements. This allows buyers the ability to create and update POs, to create agreements, to view agreements, to change agreements or manage them. Also to manage deliverables, research suppliers, in particular that integration between qualifications and suppliers is nice. So you can go research your suppliers based on their qualification. And then there's some level of performance, or excuse me, setup steps that you can perform there as well. Next, purchase orders. So very similar purchase agreements. Generate POs, so that's if you're going to generate them from another application. Create purchase orders. Import purchase orders. Change existing, and you can create, view, and manage agreements, so CPAs and DPAs. Again, manage deliverables, research suppliers, and perform related setup, just as you saw back in the prior step. Slide number four, my receipts. So this is more like desktop receiving, so you're allowed to create receipts and manage receipts. A lot of the complexity around receiving is back in materials management. Next, negotiation. So you're allowed to create programs, which is where procurement sums or aggregates uh, different 
sourcing events to achieve objectives. Then obviously you can create negotiations, manage negotiations. You can collaborate as well as bid and respond in those negotiations, create and manage deliverables, create agreements, create orders, create contracts. That's all within negotiations. Next is catalogs or what you'll hear us frequently talk about pre-negotiated content, PNC. So you can create catalogs, create smart forms, create information templates, which is a grouping of fields, manage what's called in slang PCCH, which is procurement catalog category hierarchy, some of the browsing functionality and the shop by catalog and some additional functionality as well. You can manage your content zones, your banners and news, your shopping lists, and then content maps, which is your mapping between your punch out coming back into Fusion. Just a word, each one of these slides has a corresponding overview video. So this is really at a high level. Again, that's why this video can be found in the introduction to procurement cloud uh, training world. So the next up, number seven, suppliers. So this is the ability to create suppliers, of course, and their contacts, as well as sites, etc. Uh, also included in here, internal and external registration, even though it's really a separate transaction, the registration transaction, once approved can become some corresponding supplier, different suppliers, meaning business relationship is different. Uh, then you can manage suppliers and contacts and you can merge suppliers as well. And then lastly, within the each of the applications within Procurement Cloud, you have supplier qualifications. And here you can create what's called an initiative. You can manage those initiatives. And those initiatives allow you to launch qualification and assessment questionnaires. And so then obviously you can manage the questions as well and research suppliers based on the answers or how they're qualified. So like I said, next up, two slides on analytics. First, I wanted to focus on dashboards. So this is a dashboard you'll see in some of the demo environments or in what Oracle has called Demo Central, which is all the system integrators. They have access to demo environments. This is not in the delivered application, but I put it in here to illustrate how it's not just about having reports, but you can also have reports grouped together with some high order keys that can control the reports you see underneath. So if you look at the image on the left, you see invoicing on the very top underneath that, there's a row. And those are some values that you set globally that affect all of the other OTBI queries down below, which is how those particular visuals were created. So you have dashboards. Next up, analytics. So you see here, these are called infolets. Most of them, uh, they could be called info tiles too. There's a slight distinction based on whether it's crossing applications or functional work areas. But you see some very nice visual reports that can be assembled. Um, you can see on the left, you can get some of these out of the box that are geared towards your role. So you kind of see those roles or the functions down there on the left. And you see just more of the analytics infolets here on the right as well. Okay, so we're talking a lot about procurement, a lot about the different applications. This slide is a slide that we'll use consistently in all of the different overview presentations. So for example, if we did an overview on POs, we would also use this and it tells you when. Again, very high level single slide, but you have essentially two services in procurement, purchasing services and sourcing services. On the top are your purchasing services, sometimes called self-service, so requesters get at the negotiated content via, via catalogs or what is broadly, more broadly known as pre-negotiated content. So they'll search for it, put it in their cart, submit it for approval. Depending on how it's configured, it can auto-generate purchase orders and they'll receive it desk or dock. You might ask yourself, well, what happens when no item is found? Well, you have then a non-catalog request. And the non-catalog request invokes sourcing services, which you see there on the bottom, from the hard right on over to the left. And you can do one or more of those particular steps of uh, finding, getting a supplier, non-financial or really pre-purchase contracts. Uh, you could do sourcing, you could do contracts. Uh, you can also enable the negotiated content is now a catalog. And so in the future, people can create catalog requests or you can just create an order. So that gives you an idea of when the different applications that we talked about are used. Here's a few popular integrations. So OBN uh, is an integration. We'll talk about that here in a second. So I'll punt a little bit on the detail, but Amazon on the more complex side of punch outs. And then you have a lot of other punch outs upper right, Office Depot, Staples, Dun & Bradstreet, HP. There's you know, corporate graphics, there's any number of them. 
And then what I think probably is one of the slickest integrations is DocuSign. Very nicely done uh, for contract signatures. Next, leveraging OBN, Oracle Business Network. You may have known this before as OSN or Oracle Supplier Network. It's essentially the ability to take transactions within a Fusion licensee, send them to what feels like an EDI VAR value added network, and that reformats them and sends them on to somebody else on the trading ring. In this case, we used Amazon as an example, probably not the best example because at this moment of Q4 2020, Amazon really only facilitates PO out. Um, some newer functionality around invoice back, but, but it's still very, I don't want to say immature, but they're, they're working on building that out. But in general, if you are a Fusion licensee and you do business with another ERP licensee of almost any kind, you can use OBN to facilitate the transmission of transactions back and forth. And then lastly, the value of Procurement Cloud. So we have videos specifically on this, uh, really almost any of the slides, OBN, et cetera. But uh, at a very high level, the value of Procurement Cloud really falls under one of three main areas for if you wanted to include transparency, um, which we fold into risk. But really it's about decreasing unit costs, um, potentially better terms. It's really about unit purchase cost. Uh, the next is increasing productivity. When you hear a lot about self-service, you're trying to be more productive, and right? These kind of play together. So you're doing sourcing and you're going to look at the integration points, buyer, supplier, make sure that who you're selecting uh, is as productive as possible, but yet as cheap or as the lowest unit cost. And then lastly, decreasing or mitigating counterparty risk, which you can see on here as well. So that's really the value of Procurement Cloud. Okay, so are you ready for the next video? Well, do you understand the purchasing and sourcing functions automated by Oracle's Procurement Cloud applications? Do you understand its analytics, integrations, the value proposition? If the answer is no, then either watch again or feel free to reach out to me directly. You can see here on the left, that's my email address, and I'm always available to answer questions. If the answer is yes, great, then maybe you wanna watch more video. So you can go to our playlist out on YouTube by going to YouTube and searching on AuraCloud Plus Inc. Or you can go from our website to the tool we call FAST, the Fusion Application Support Tool, and you can access the full catalog of our Learn, Use, Configure, Integrate, Deploy, and Support videos online. So that's it for this tutorial. We hope you found it informative and keep watching.